So to get started with a knife, uh, first let's talk about where you can cancel into V-Trigger from. So he actually has a very limited number of options to uh, be able to cancel into V-Trigger. Uh, he can cancel from anything that's special cancelable, and like a lot of his normal, so he can do Crouching Hard Kick. Um, on block, these would be like... That would be plus 11. Standing Medium Punch is one of the better ones, it's plus 10. Um, medium Kick is like... Okay, Medium Kick's plus 12. So that should be fine. Especially with the enhanced range of the normals that you get in, um, in, uh, V-Trigger 1. And, uh, you can cancel, uh, the first hit of EX Zonk in the trigger, which is very plus. That's about it. Um, uh, first hit of forward hard kick into trigger is about plus 14 on block. Anyways, so, that's the gist of it. Once you're in trigger with the knife, it, it really changes, uh, how Cody's supposed to play. He no longer gets the ability to throw, uh, Tornado sweeps, which means that uh, his neutral has to change as well, and um, it changes like all of his punch buttons. It enhances the range, but it's not like Colleen's. Uh, Colleen's V Trigger 2 just extends the range of all of her punch normals by a little bit, but otherwise leaves them completely intact. This actually turns them into different moves, especially his heavy punches. Uh, his, his forward heavy punches overhead stays unchanged, but uh, yeah. And his Light Punch stays the same, but just has more range now. Other than that, um, all of his punch inputs are slower than they used to be. Crouching Light Punch becomes 5 frames, which means it, it, it's slightly better than Light Kick for uh, a long range poke. That you can buffer into um, Medium Ruffian, which will work very consistently. And uh, Medium Punch, I'm not entirely sure how slow they become, but they become quite very slow. And, uh, he no longer gets standing heavy punch as an anti-air, but he does get crouching heavy punch. Uh, in addition, he gets three new special moves. Well, he gets one new target combo with the knife. He gets medium punch heavy punch as a target combo. And he gets, uh, three new special moves. He can throw the knife like that, in which case he returns to normal Cody until you do something to pull the knife out again. Uh, doing this move costs no V-Gage, but pulling the knife out again does cost a lot of, of your trigger. And you can, it is like a special, so you can cancel into it, but not from the same places where you would normally be able to cancel into V-Trigger. It has to be like a, a special cancelable move. So like that. And there's very few situations where you can get it to be like safe or plus. So off of certain knockdowns and like if you get certain hits like, um, That's a situation where you would be able to re-equip the knife before going in again and still be plus. Other than that, um, it's not like you would, when you throw the knife, you're able to do bigger combos, but... And then you can get in by doing slightly better combos, but uh, then you'll have to play as regular Cody until you have another opportunity to back off. Or like, uh, land a combo and then re-equip the knife. Like so. Uh, he also gets the ability to throw it as an anti-air. Uh, it doesn't anti-air very well. Like, if the opponent's already jumping towards you, uh, it's the, it's very likely that the, um, the knife itself will go underneath them. But, uh, it can be used to launch to, um, start combos that will, will, um, be slightly better than, um, they would be normally. And beyond that, he gets this move, this lunging attack, which um, links into this animation on hit. Uh, this move sucks. This move is bad. Um, it has terrible Oki. Uh, you're not plus enough after the knockdown to get a forward dash. Which, um, and uh, it uses half of your entire V-Gate every single time you attempt this. Everything else... 
See, like, just poking, stabbing away with the knife with his normals won't drain the V-Gage unless you're making contact with the opponent, in which case it will. Um, throwing the knife, obviously, it, like, it's re-equipping the knife that costs the V-Gage, not throwing the knife itself. But, um... Yeah, this, this move, this lunging attack, is not the best. It is plus three on block. The, I think the main reason why you would use this move is if you make a, a hit confirming mistake. Say like um, you accidentally do like medium punch heavy punch, which is minus 14 on block, the, the, the new target combo that you get, and you need something to cancel into. You can go for that lunge and be plus three on block and still have the knife and, and be right in front of their face. I don't think you would want to go for that intentionally otherwise. Because if you, uh, you can combo it off of lights, but you could also just combo into medium ruffian kick off of lights. So, I mean, the fact that it's plus lets you do it without even having to hit confirm it, but it's still a massive waste of, of your trigger. If you, if you're doing a combo into, uh, like a medium ruffian kick or whatever. Like, that would be, that would be better, it wouldn't cost any more gauge, um, it's knockdown is better, it's corner carry is better, yeah, this, this move isn't great. Now, this move actually does change when you lose the knife. So, if you have any, like, barely any V-Gage left, and you do it, and it, your V-Trigger is empty, he does a different attack at the end of it, which has a better knockdown. where he slams them down, and then that has a better knockdown. He's more plus after that. So that is actually a lot better. But uh, if you're just doing it when you still have gauge left, it's a big waste. So as for his neutral game and how this changes it, uh, obviously he gets a different anti-air. Uh, he can still do his ruffian kick, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, basically this... Um, Gives him really long-range pokes with uh, his mediums, especially his heavy punch lunges him forwards. But uh, and it's plus eight on hit, but it's it's minus two on block. So it's a, it's an okay poke. Like you can poke with it if you get the hit. You can um, combo into medium punch pretty much every single time. So that's a, a really decent poke. So long, and then uh, because of the massive range of your knife normals, you can combo into that. Uh, but, uh, when you land, like, say that, and then go for, like, crouching medium punch, this also changes the properties of his medium punches so that they're no longer special cancelable, at least not into his regular specials, which means that you can't do medium punch into ruffian kick anymore. You can do it into the knife flurry, and you can do it into the, the um, throwing the knife, but you can't do it into, uh, like, say, light or, or any of the ruffi ruffian kicks. So, if you land that, like, heavy punch is a poke, and you combo into that, you pretty much have to do, um, something else, uh, using the knife that will spend more of the gauge, unfortunately. So you can do stuff like that. But, uh, instead of that, uh, medium punch is also a good thing to poke with. Uh, a hard punch is good, it's minus on block, M only minus two, but you're really far away if you're just poking from this range. And it hits really high up into the air too, which means that it's difficult, even though it's whiffing for a long time, it's difficult for them to jump over. Uh, if you don't want to spend any knife gauge whatsoever, you can just combo off of it with standing medium kick. And then you can link that into super if nothing else. But yeah, no, you can also poke away with medium punch. Medium punch is plus five on hit, and it's like plus four on block, I think? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And it has tons of range. Uh, and you can hit confirm it on hit into the target combo, and then the target combo lets you special cancel like any into anything. So you can do that into all your normal stuff. And then you can use that to get in. So yeah. That's the essence of, of using the knife, really. Coming. 
Your light attacks, like your light punches, will combo into the standing knife throw, which will get a really good launcher. But uh, not if you're too far away. If you do it from the, like, this far, you throw it into it, it's, that won't work. But if you do it, um, say like crouching medium punch that there, that will combo cleanly. So then you can do that into like a, a light ruffian kick, for example, or a few other things. So yeah, and on block you have plenty of ways to get in, like uh, with your, your massive normals. Um, if you need to, you can spend that massive amount of gauge and just do the, the lunge that's plus three on block, although it doesn't leave you as close as, say, doing the um, EX Sonk would on block, so that's not quite as good. Obviously this changes because it slows down all your punches, this changes what counter hit confirms you can get. So, um, off of counter hit, like medium kick, for example, you, you can't get, um, off of counter hit medium kick, you can get crouching medium punch, but you can only cancel crouching medium punch into, uh, knife specials. Standing medium punch is massively slow. I think it's 11 frames, so you, even if you get counter hit, uh, standing heavy punch, you can't combo into the target combo with uh, standing medium punch, because it's just too slow. So because of like the different uh, costs of doing things, like. V gauge costs. I'm not entirely sure, like, I'm not confident in saying, like, what's the best thing to go for in every single situation. Like, like, is it better to just, like, say, take this and then just do as few knife moves as possible and just get the knockdown with, um, medium kick ruffian? Or, like, is it better to do, like, that and then spend more knife moves and then get a better knockdown but you'll have to like pull out the knife uh, thus costing a lot more v-gauge at some later point like I don't know but anyways that's that's what you can do with it so yeah it, it drastically enhances um uh, his 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 the range of his attacks and it's really easy to hit confirm like those hits and then and then you can get in really easily the moves are very plus on block all the moves are, uh, except for, and even the things that aren't plus on block, you can cancel into, like, the knife throw or that to make them plus on block. 